Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Whatever time it is you're here. Glad you're here. Um, so I am in the process of working on a new journal. And um, it is for a friend that contacted me about making something special for him. So that is what I'm working on. Um, so I had some very special requests. So I dug through a bunch of my old vintage stuff. So this is a book cover for a travel book that I had about Spain that I've had for a while. I think, I think I've shown this before in a video when I was looking for some other pages for some things. Um, but this book jacket was just so pretty, but it was very worn. So what I have done is reinforced this side um, quite a bit with some very old vintage looking things and just to kind of show you what we have happening here. It's not finished yet, which is why I thought I would show you guys some ways that I reinforce these sections. Now this is already quite sturdy, but I want to throw a few more little things across this because this is going to be the center of our signature. So it's going to be folded right on that line. So what I want to do is make it very reinforced right along the seam so that it will stand up to use. So I'm using paper and some various washi tapes that I have uh, to reinforce this section some more and kind of give it a fun collage look and things like that. So I've been a bunch of different washies here that I'm also gluing on to help reinforce this. So this is just kind of showing a way that we can do some of those things to reinforce areas. So I have this great tape that's got like architectural things on it. So I'm gonna throw a few more of these pieces on here and there. So it's kind of a work and chat. I'm gonna talk about how we can do this stuff and I wanna try and get at least this page done quickly here this morning, although when you do these types of things, it's not always quick sometimes, but I have all my supplies out. I was working on this quite a bit. I had started working on this page yesterday in between doing some other things. Um, you'll notice my nails are very <laughs> stained. I was doing some things with grapes yesterday. Um, my parents brought over I don't even know how many pounds of grapes, so I've been in a been processing through them. I actually ended up cooking down quite a bit yesterday and filled my entire dehydrator with uh, to make some grape roll-ups. Here's a music one. Let's get some put some music on here. So I'm using some tape and I'm okay with it spilling out into the edges some more on this. This tape is pretty sticky, but I'm adding another extra layer just to make it a little bit more tacky and durable. Because this is some very old paper and I want it to stick really well. And I also want it to help reinforce this paper. And then we're going to do something on these sides too, because I think I'm going to leave them as pockets, like tuck in pockets, but we're going to put some images on here too. And I think maybe reinforce the edges a little bit, although they're pretty good. I think they're all right. I think it'll just be up on the corners maybe. So we'll see what else we got. Let's see what's on here. Oh, this is nice. Also some nice stuff here. Let's do, and I'm gonna do some inking on this as well to um, kind of make it a little bit look like it's been around for a while because the whole point of this book is to make it 
it, it's supposed to look like it's been from another time, really. So I am pulled out a lot of different vintage things in this book. All right, let's break up those lines a little bit. I'm going to grab... Oh, this is nice. So I have some other papers and stuff here. And I'm just going to be tearing them and getting them glued on here as well. So we're kind of doing some collage. I like doing some collage sometimes. It's nice breaking up some stuff. Get those smooshed down really well. All right, now maybe some bigger pictures or some text. Actually, this writing is not bad. I kind of do like that. Let's roughen up this edge of it. Because we are going to do a bit of inking. Now, I could have inked these beforehand, but I didn't. Uh, I want to put it up there. It's a little big. Let's go with that. Yeah. So, <clears throat> got my son off to school on the bus already this morning. Got a big day. Got lots of stuff going on. Got to get out to the garden. It was a little chilly. It was only 55 degrees here this morning when I woke up. So I want to let it warm up a little bit before I go out to the garden. Pick my veggies for market. I really like this here. I want to put that there. So this washi is... This is nice washi. It's very sticky. I like good sticky washi tapes. I think let's take this part off here. All right. And then we'll move on. I'm not quite sure what kind of images I want to put on these two sides yet. Let's go. Let's go here. Oh. And then we could that on this side. Let's do that. Okay, now we just have some on the edge up there. Let's see. Okay, let's go with, because I want to do like a kind of a rollover kind of a thing. I'm going to use some of this old look tape that I have up on this top edge. So let's do this here. that. Okay, that's nice. I like that. Okay. All right, let's see. So that's really good. Maybe one more something there. I want 
Let's do one of these ones, maybe. So just kind of showing some different things we can do. Reinforcing, but being decorative at the same time. I wonder if I can sneak this under here yet. I don't like that. I'm sure I can make it less obvious, but I'm going to try and... Oh, that's better. Okay. Bring that edge so it's less like that. Okay. So I think that's pretty good. Let that get nice and dry. Now we need an image on each side or some kind of like a collage or something. Not that stack. To look at my stack of stuff I set aside to use. Because I have some good stuff in here. Oh, you know what? I have this, which will be nice in the background, I think, on here. Let's do that. So I'm just roughening the edges because I don't want them to be straight. I want this to be more torn looking. It's been around for a while, made from some things, collected them hither and yon. So I'm doing this one a little bit different. I am um, putting it together after I decorate it. That's nice. And I don't mind that that overlaps a little there. Because I think I am going to leave this as like a pocket um, on either side. I think that'll be really nice to tuck some things for some more writing space. Now let's see how this glue does with this stuff. I don't know. We're going to find out. I ordered some more glue. I haven't been able to find it. I feel like our big box stores that are close by to me don't always have the supplies I need so I do end up having to order from Amazon a fair amount for some of those types of things. Um, I feel like glue is one of those things that you can't skimp on and it's important to get some good glues. Oh well come on sneak this way. Okay. So we'll find out if this is will curl this or not. Sometimes with vellum, you have things that curl. So I like that kind of as some background texture, but I might do something a little different on the other side. Since they're going to be, they won't be like this, right? They're going to be, you only see half at a time. So what is on this one? Okay, so it's going to be, Map page is the other side in greens. <clears throat> what else do we have? Oh, okay. I'm going to use a strip of this lovely mermaid and fish here. I have this old set of, um, they're kind of like encyclopedias, but they're of like stories and tales and different things. They're, it's actually a pretty cool book, series of books, I should say. Um, but there was like six or seven in the series. I do like that. All right. Do we want it to go all the way? Yes. Okay, 
that's going to go there-ish. And then we'll put something else here. I'm going to get rid of some of this straight edge. Maybe we ink this a little bit before we put it down. And put it on this side. There. I don't know what I'm putting on here yet, so ink it. We're going to ink first. Um, I need a darker ink. put it along this edge to help reinforce that a little bit and then we'll have something else here yeah let's do that And I think I'm gonna do the other, the other side similar. So I'm gonna take the other strip, going down here. I have another book that I wanna pull out for this journal as well. Uh, I just got given it and it's really, really cool. Uh, so I have some wonderful people that I have met through my farmer's market. And there's one wonderful lady that when she goes to um, garage sales and things, she's always thinking of me. And she had seen this old, she knows I like maps and things like that. And I use a lot of maps and in my books, my journals. So she had found this old um, encyclopedia, or no, in, not an encyclopedia, um, words, Nancy. She found a <clears throat> atlas, a vintage atlas, and she had she brought it to me at Farmer's Market last week, and she's like, hey, would you like this? And I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you. And I always try and give her a little bit of money or something. She's like, oh, it's fine. Because I just bought it with a whole bunch of other stuff at this garage sale. And I barely paid anything for it. I'm like, okay. And uh, anyway, it's from 1890. It is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to put this along this edge here. And that will help reinforce that side as well. Go. Get smoosher down there. Okay, now we need to find some other fun stuff to add to here. Look and see what else I set aside. My tray. You guys should be happy I cleaned. It's still a little messy. Well, it's not messy. It's I have stacks of stuff that need to go into various organization piles um they're in organization piles i should say oh this is perfect let's do this seaweed on one of these i have a seaweed i was thinking it would look really nice on here let's do that well, I'm just going to tear this page out and we'll go from there. I feel like this seaweed is really interesting. It's a different kind of a thing. And it fits with our theme 
Oh, I've got some, this old book, little pamphlet. Trini has a lot of vintage stuff, vintage and antique things that kind of go with, oh, here's pieces of this book. Okay, maybe that one. Okay, all right, now that we have a bigger hot mess happening here, but we have a few things. Oh yeah, and I have this German Psalms book. I'm gonna pull a page up. This one is so brittle, it can only be used as collage fodder, and it's gorgeous. Pull one of those out because I like the foreign language. So we're gonna use some of this, some of that. Let's cut this guy out. I don't know what all we're gonna use yet, so I'm just gonna cut the whole thing out. So I'm gonna kind of fussy cut, but not like super neat. I'm gonna come in, I'm just gonna get this rough cut first. It'll be easier. So I might be able to use a bit of it on another page at some point. The scrap pile. Okay, so let's see what we got. Maybe like that. Yeah. Let's do it. There. I think that's good. I like it on this side. Do I like it on this side? I like it on both sides. Let's do it like here. Oh, now that looks better on this side. Okay. All right, so now I'm just going to cut it a little neater here. <clears throat> so today I have to get ready for my farmer's market. Waiting for it to warm up so I can go finish harvesting. I think I've got Brussels sprouts that are ready. I've got some squash that's ready to check my peppers. I definitely have okra. I know I'll have some okra. I'll probably pick some onions and then Swiss chard and I'll check the celery and see where the celery is. And then we'll go from there. And then I'll have my probably chat with my friend for a little bit today we normally do that so this is Wednesday when I'm recording this it probably will not be posted for a couple of weeks I try and schedule out as people have watched my videos and know because when you have a bit busy life you don't always have time to do certain things so I plan things out ahead of time. I shouldn't say I plan them out. I record out ahead of time generally whatever I feel like at the time and what I'm working on. And I always have a bunch of projects going so we kind of hop around from thing to thing. And then sometimes I just decide I want to do something different or I have an idea or I get a fun supply, uh, a second hand shop. And then I try and put them in an order on my page that, so you not don't end up with like several of the same type of videos at a time. I try and break them up a little. Um, so if you guys don't like that, you should let me know if you want them in chronological order, because they are not in chronological order on when I record them, because I just figured people don't always want to see like, oh, well, here's a haul video, here's a flip through, here's a flip through, here's a flip through, you know what I mean? So I try and break them up into different types of things. Yes, we definitely like that there. I wonder, should I flip that around the edge or trim it? 
can cheat it this way. Maybe we'll leave it or we'll tear them off. We'll see. I'm gonna use art glitter glue for this one though, not glue stick. Do I wanna ink it first? I think we do. I kinda want it more like that, but I'm gonna cheat it this way. Okay, so I'm gonna ink this a little bit too. <clears throat> Just to make it stand out a little bit more. So anyway, yeah, my videos come out in, in, in a different order than when I record them because on a day when, so basically I try and record a couple of videos in one day sometimes if I have, if I have the chance, depending on what else is going around or like this morning, I'm like, you know what, it's too chilly outside for me to do that stuff yet. I'm going to work on this a bit because I had left it from yesterday because I was hopping in between doing this, working with the grapes. Like my days are pretty, pretty all over the place because of garden stuff. So I try and catch a minute here or there to do some things. Because um, when you have produce, you have to use it when it's there. If you don't have places to keep it, from going bad or turning into wine. So, uh, and I'm, I'm not making grape wine. I wanted to make grape roll-ups and maybe save some back to make some grape cobbler after I cook it down. And then I'll probably still have plenty to make some jams and jellies and stuff too. Well, not jelly, but jam. Because it has the pulp and the skins, but de-seeding process for grapes my friends Whew. it is a process luckily my wonderful parents also sat and helped me work on that when they brought me the grapes my mom has a ton of grape vines on her little ah glue on the background on her little porch that she has at her house And so her and my dad picked them and they called me and wanted to know if I wanted the grapes. I was like, yes, I'll take the grapes. And then trying to decide what you need to do with the grapes. Let's do, I should have done this. I can trim that bottom. Okay, well, it lives here now. That is where it lives. Okay, so that is done there. Wipe up any other glue spots. Okay, these are good. Make sure they're smushed down really well. I kind of love that just as is. Seaweed, mermaids, and fishes. All right, so now we have something on this side to do. Do we want to put another one of these? We could do this and then we could have another focal point up that side maybe. We'll go like this. What do we want to do with this? I feel like it, I like it on here. We could save it for another page. Mm -hmm. Go this way. No. This way. No. Like this and then maybe put something there. Or we'll tear it and then it won't look so weird. Let's try and tear it and see what look. Well, we're committed now. We're tearing it. It's happening. That's tearing. I'm going to tear this side a little. You know what? I'm going to just do it. I'm going to just have a rough, torn piece. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Sometimes you just got to commit to the thing. And we will find some other interesting stuff to put on this side. That's what's going to happen. So I have to make this, I have limited space in this journal, so I'm trying to make sure it's fairly flat. So I'm not putting in as much of the thick bulky textures 
as I normally do because it has to has to be a bit flat I like that okay you know what let's do a little bit of this <coughs> let's put this here I wonder if we put something under it, it'll stand out more. Hmm. Let's put one of these, maybe. Oh, I kind of like that. Yeah, let's do it. I ink it a little bit, though. Let's see, what else were we discussing here? I don't remember. I don't recall. Talk to my bestie, do some emails, get caught up on a few things, get ready for market. Uh, oh, yeah, over the weekend. This last weekend, I also did some eco dyeing. Did some, I had processed some beets, so I had some beet liquid from that. And so I cooked that down to make a dye. So I dyed a bunch of papers with beet juice and they turned out amazing. That way, this way, kind of like it this way. Let's do it this way. Let's do it. Kind of see that adds another little fun texture and then I want to add one little thing see and I pulled all of these other extra things and that that's just the way that happens sometimes I don't use it but I want to put on I have these beautiful little I've had these forever this is also part of what I'm trying to do I'm trying to use up some of my stuff that I've had for a really long time because I get these wonderful things and then they go into their little box. And if you don't know, don't remember you have a thing, you're not going to use it. So I'm, I try and set a few things out on my table that I think I'll use. So I think this little label here looks really nice. Probably could have inked the edges of that a little bit. Probably should have. I wonder if I still can. Oh, kind of like it like that smeary a little bit. Okay. All right. So that is, I think this side is done. It's a little monochromatic, um, but it kind of is supposed to be that way. That is kind of his request was that it was very, very neutral. Lots of neutral tones. Okay. Where did I put that? Okay. This one. Hmm. I like these. I also have, oh, this was, I think this was from here. These I got in the dollar section at Michael's a while ago, these little tags. And they're like little post-it notes. Um, they're great. I really love them. So I use this one on this side. Oh, this is from here my other square of three of these I thought two lose oh my goodness losing it right in front of me that does that go yeah let's do that one so it's a little different but a little the same and I am going to ink it this time Give it a little difference now. 
I didn't think about my layout on this one, where I'm going to put it, so we'll see. Oh, right down here. That is perfect, actually. Okay. That looks nice. I like that. I feel like we're probably good Oop. on this. I don't, I think it's probably good. I've covered up enough here and here, I think, to make it have interest, to be really interesting. These are pretty sturdy. Now, do we want to leave these as flips, flip outs, or glue them to make them into pockets? I will wait to determine that until after they go into the book. That can be a final thing. So then here is this side. I need to do something else up here yet. Oh. Did I save this? Oh, let's see. That would be neat. Um, a little bit of this. Hmm. Don't like that either. Feels like I'm trying to look through my little stack of odd papers here that I have to see if there's something that will help cover that bit. I don't want it to say Spain is what's happening. That's what's going on. Oh, let's see. So I'm gonna cover up the word Spain and go from there. But I need to find something that looks nice to go over here that makes sense or doesn't look really strange. What do we have in here? These are great. I might just I might just tuck these little pamphlet pieces into the pockets of this thing. What about the Acropolis? Any Okay. So what about using a little of this writing paper? A small section. Let's use one of these poems. So I think they're, um, these are poems, I believe. Uh, one of my friends can speak German or read German or something. And so she was looking at this book one day and was like, oh, I can't believe you tear this up. And I'm like, it's so brittle. It was already damaged. The cover's beautiful. But, I mean, what do you, what do you do? You can't save everything, right? Oh, yeah, that looks nice there. Okay. Let's put you on. Now you'll see just how very careful I have to put even glue on these. Once, the, once it's glued on, this paper's great. But it's the in-between times. It will just tear even while you're doing stuff. Is that how I, I think I snuck it way up there? Yep. Okay. Perfect. And then I feel like just a plain, something plain that you could write a note on would be nice over there. So... I know I've got some plain paper I set aside. Maybe a piece of this, so. I like using old fly leaf for some of this stuff. So there, I want it a little smaller. There we go. There we go. And then we need to try and ink a bunch of this. And I might have to do some interesting stuff because I needed, I should have inked the things as they went down. I realized that yesterday that I had made that faux pas with this. So we will see what we can do. I can be tricky and sneaky, I think. But I think if we use some of our brushes to get the ink in places that we want it, it'll be okay. I 
Okay, perfect. And that reinforces that top edge. Also covers up that word up there. Gives a little spot to write a note. <clears throat> okay, I think that's good. Now let's get to the ink and, and then I think we'll call it for this video. I'm putting some of these tapes away. So many different tapes out in this box. Put our cover on our glue. So it doesn't dry out. My catch and release program. There we go. Okay, so I've got this and I need a darker brown, I think. Let me grab one. Okay, get some ground espresso here too. Got antique linen and we've got old paper. So let's see, and I'm gonna grab a little bit of a finer brush so I can get in here in a few spots. So first, let's try that. Oh, that's gonna, I think that'll be okay. It's a little bit more smudgy than I wanted, but I guess it is what it is. Should pick up on some of these papers really well to kind of, I don't want the white is also the white that's the, oh see that's already looking better I don't know probably wasn't up in frame so that is already looking much better to bring down knock back that white that's there but still make it look like it's a part of everything much better. Yes, much better. I don't like this straight edge here, but I don't know as much I can do about it at the moment. Okay, I want to try a little of this old paper on a couple spots here. Oh, okay, that's right. I forgot that one is very smoke and not smoky, but hazy is the word I was looking for. Which is fine. Just get it to where we want it to be. Okay, I think that's good on this side. Let's go to the inside here now. We're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to do a little bit lighter. I think I'll try the antique linen on this one for in here. Clean off my brush a little bit first. Oh yeah, that's better. Cause this is lighter in general. So I just kinda, the background on this is lighter. And we'll just hit it here and there with, and I'll do that afterward. I wanna go in with a little bit of the ground espresso too. See how that just kind of makes it all meld together a little too. All right, a little bit of ground espresso.
that's actually, I kind of like those kind of smudgy marks there. Kind of looks like a fingerprint or something. Okay, I think it's pretty good. These were fine. Um, let me, I want to get this edge a little bit more. Let's see, do I want it dark? Let's do it a little darker. I'm just getting this whole edge on this part with some ground espresso here. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. It'll make it stand out from that back part. Okay. Again, making things look like they've been around for a while. Okay, I think that's good. I think that is gonna work really well. So now I'm gonna fold this back in. Yes, okay, that's gonna be nice and sturdy. I love that, okay. So that's our center. Even if these rumple a little bit, it's okay. So then that is going to go on our, you know, to our center signature. So I will show you the first page. I did the first page already in this too. So here's my signature. Here's my full signature. I'll show you what it looks like in a second. So all of these pages need to get antiqued. And so this is going in here. Some of them need to be trimmed down yet. So this is the center of the signature. So I'm going to show you the front. So I did the first page of the signature already. So here is the first page. This is music paper, some stickers, some uh, label that I had. Um, and then inside, we flip. We have writing space. We got some splatters. Back side, here's the back side of it. I toned this down with the antique paper a little bit. It was a little bit too bright. And then here is the inside. So this is a pocket. This is a pocket. And these are all papers that can be written on because they're blank on the back. So makes them have lots of cool interest and some variety to our pages and then this opens as well so we have here we have a map a couple map pages here that are glued in as a part of this fold out okay so that's what we got going on there I'll probably kind of do a little bit of this where I'll do a page and then I'll work on a page show you guys what I'm doing as I work through it and then do a show and tell of a page or two. So there you go. Okay. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know your thoughts, um, comments, questions, anything. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, and that's where we are for today. I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys enjoy this and, uh, don't forget art with your heart. Thanks a lot.